Punish us if we kill it. That's how you won't punish you. Your stomach. Bill will starve if you let these thieving gorillas steal our crop. We can't go against the government's words. And the one who mends those groves, not the government's.
Dr. Cole. You mean you can't tell the difference between a male and a female gorilla? Well, it's uh, kind of difficult. Let's see, the uh, male's a bit bigger, and when he grows older, he develops what we call a silver back. Billy, surely there's a visible difference. Ah, uh, no, none that you can see. Isn't that odd? One would have thought that a male gorilla would be, um... Well, you know. Uh, Vita, have you met Baxter Mapes? Bax, this is Vita Havermeyer. She's going to be working in our Friends of the Zoo office as a volunteer. Oh, how nice. Yes, Bax is a special agent for the Department of the Interior's Wildlife Division. Really? Yes, he's the one who uh, enforces the conservation and endangered species laws. Well, I certainly hope you're doing something about those awful ladies I still see walking around in leopard coats. Oh, I've been known to snatch them right off their backs. <coughs> I bet you have. <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Cole, this cable came in as I was leaving your office. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, no, 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 Ellen, <laughs> thank you very much. Hi, Ellen. Well, let's see, Brazzaville. Lil Tyler. Uh, huh? You knew her, didn't you, Bax? Yeah, the monkey lady. Yeah, the monkey lady. Well, let's see what this one is. <laughs> Bax, listen to this. Adult Rangi Nyupe, reported near here, will investigate. Are you interested? Are we interested? <laughs> How about that? It's hard to believe. I mean, the odds against it are... Uh... Listen, you two are going to have to excuse me. I want to cable her right back, okay? Okay. What are you two talking about? What's a rangi... what's it? A rangi nuepe is a local lingo for an ivory ape. In other words, it's a full-grown albino gorilla. A white gorilla? I suppose that's rare. Rare? It just has to be about the rarest animal alive. Really? Wasn't there one in the uh, Barcelona Zoo? Right, a uh, snowflake. It was found as an infant. It's the only one. You can imagine what a zoo would give for a full-grown, wild adult. And this uh, monkey lady, she's going to get it for our zoo? Well, the competition is bound to be fierce. I mean, every zoo in the world is going to want it. Even private collectors. It has to be worth its weight in diamonds. Mm -hmm. Zoo business is show business. Rare animals like pandas or snow tigers, they bring in attendance. Well, I never really thought of it like that. See, the bottom line is, before long, Without zoos, there won't be any wild animals left. True. Um, it's noon. How about taking me some nice place for lunch? Oh, how about a, uh, slightly tacky diner? Any diner I'm in isn't going to be tacky. Well, then let's go, huh? He <laughs> <laughs> got you, you bloody monkey. <laughs> it's banana. Bloody banana. White! White! I know it's white, old man. That means Kidogo. Much attention. The government people will be here soon. And they will give you nothing. Baba, understand? Nothing. No, no. They may even punish you for wounding it. No, no! Bring the last box.
Wait, wait. Now look here, old man. I have one more very special trade item to show you. Come on. I'll show you how it works. Right, you two, load the cage on the lorry. Rumi, give them a hand. They beat me to it. Listen, they've smuggled it here to the coast. They they put it on a ship and they've sailed with it. And Bax, I think it's wounded. Who is this? Range. Listen, his name is Aubrey Range. He's this horrible low-life Englishman. Anyway, I followed him all the way here to the coast from Brazzaville. It's four o'clock in the morning here. Bax, if there ever was such a thing as an endangered species, this is it. You've got to do something about it. It's your job. Hey, hey, don't tell me what my job is. All right, all right. Did you find out where the ship was headed? Yes, Cuba. Cuba, yeah, that makes sense. They can auction it off there without interference and make a fortune. Oh. All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the Port Authority station there and ask them to monitor the ship's movement. If it pulls into another station along the way, maybe we can intercept it. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. No, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Sure, you too. Take care. The monkey lady? The monkey lady. Billy Cole said you uh, knew her from before. Oh, we went to school together. Roomies? Oh, something like that. She's a funny kind of gal. I mean, she is totally committed to saving wildlife. I agree with her, I of course. I exactly what kind she is. She fell in love with horses as a little girl and went on to a lifetime fixation with animals. That's it. You got it. But I'll tell you something. There is not a better animal behaviorist working in the field today. Darling, it's your animal behavior that I'm interested in.
It doesn't look good. A hurricane, maybe. We're miles off our course, going north. Well, old man, what can you expect? We are in the Bermuda Triangle, you know. Listen, I've been sailing this sea for 30 years, and that triangle nonsense is a bunch of bloody rubbish. What we've got here is bad weather. Uh, Shakespeare would have agreed with you. From the still vexed Bermuda, there she's hid. The mariners all under hatches stowed. <laughs> The island's still tempest-tossed. train these apes is to show them fear. Look, idiot! Once we sell this freak, they can skin it for all I care. But I don't want any more marks on it until then. Try to prove anyway. Gorillas are afraid of their own shadows. You know as well as I do. They'll only bite a man running away. A gorilla bite on the rear end is a disgrace for a hunter. Is he? That one's not afraid. The bloody monkey tried to eat me. Just look at it. Now we're coming up on two of our great Indian one horned rhinoceros. These mammals are vegetarian, and being very nearsighted, rely on their sense of hearing and smell to get around. There are less than 1,000 of these creatures left in the wild today, due to the fact that they have been ruthlessly slaughtered for their bones and horns, which were once thought to have been... Hello, pretty lady. Shouldn't you be out arresting parrot smugglers or something? Oh, the office knows where I am. I just thought we might have some lunch or something. Hello? Yes, Mr. Mapes is here. <laughs> Who's calling? Who? Just a moment. Monkey lady. Liv! How are you? Where are you? Here, Boma's been tracking down that freighter, and they just picked up a distress signal. Uh, it seems like the ship's in a terrific storm, and they're trying to make Bermuda. Bermuda? Bermuda, Box. Do you realize if it puts in, then we can be there to meet it. Now, listen, I have papers from the Zaire government saying that they have to legally turn over the animal to us. And, uh, oh, I've made jet connections to London and on to Bermuda, so you can meet me there tomorrow night. Lil, wait a minute. Lil oh, 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 and, uh, I charge it to the Department of the Interior, so if you'll clear it for me, I'd appreciate it. Thanks very much. See you then. Bye. Lil. Lil? You're going to Bermuda? When? I have to meet her there tomorrow. How long will you be gone? Only for a few days. I just have to serve the papers and impound the animal. I'll call you as soon as I arrive. I'm going to be staying at Mark Azarian's. Mark Azarian? The Mark Azarian? You mean you heard of him? Don't be funny. But I can't imagine you two being friends. He's the original macho hunter. 
If it moves, he shoots it. Not anymore, my dear. He retired a few years ago. Wasn't there some sort of awful accident on a hunting trip? I met him a while back at Kennedy when the government had me stationed there. He's really a very, very interesting fellow. He's a kind of a strange mixture between, oh, the Hemingway, Howard Hughes, King Kong. I remember he married Valerie Lamont. She was French. French Canadian. Right. It was all that nasty stuff in the papers about her and half the Canadian parliament. Scandal just about sank the government. Hmm. Then she married Kazarian. Well, I better get rolling, huh? Come, the car's right across the way. Okay. Got everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, woman <clears throat> that I'm working with is coming in today, but her flight has been delayed. Uh, I left your number at the airline counter. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. You should have told me. She could have stayed with us. No, 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 thank you. She's booked into a hotel in Hamilton. Oh, Val. He was right. It's beautiful. Not like the first time we met. God, that was awful. Those damn reporters. There must have been a million of them just waiting to pick his bones. He's never forgotten your kindness at the airport that night. If you hadn't arranged to get him out of there, I don't know what he would have done. I just felt sorry for him, that's all. You were the only one. The only one with sympathy. The rest. How's he doing? The same. Still won't talk about it. Tried to reach him, but it's like he's somewhere else. It's eerie. Everything's gonna be all right. Don't worry about it, okay? Welcome, Mr. Mapes. Thank you. I'll show you to your room later. Come and see Mark. He's been asking when you arrive. It's a good sign. He spends most of his time in his game room. Does he uh, drink or...? No. Nothing that simple. He doesn't do anything. Mark? Bax is here. You know, when I got this uh, hurry-up call to come down here, I, 
Uh, I remembered your invitation. I hope that I'm not in... Uh... Uh, no, 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 no. We both need the company, don't we? Hey, what are you going to drink? Now, come on, anything. But, but whatever you're having. Now, I'm drinking tonic. Good. Okay. The house is beautiful. It's really... Uh... A long way from Salinas. Salinas? In California, that's where Mark's from. From. That's the key word. Salinas is my measuring stick. Max, wherever I am, I ask myself, is this better than Salinas? And I am seldom disappointed. That bad, huh? Oh, no, 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 not bad, hard. Depression hard. You see, I was from an enormous Armenian family. When I was little, I thought the whole world was poor and Armenian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you certainly changed all that, didn't you? Well, that was luck. I had this uncle who wrangled a job for me with the Canadian Mining Company. Uh, I've told you this before, haven't I? You were a guide or something, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> well, that's what I told them. <laughs> and I, uh, I took these two geologists up in the mountain looking for ore, and, and uh, I got completely lost. <laughs> so uh, they fired me and they went back home. And you stayed there? Yeah. Because I was stubborn. And I literally stumbled on it. Nothing romantic like gold or silver, just raw uranium. And it was the biggest deposit in the whole Western Hemisphere. I found it, and I kept it. Yeah, I went back to Salinas just once. I had some, uh, some crazy idea of buying up the town and giving it to my mother. But my uh, Armenian mother was disappointed in me. She wanted to know when I was going to get married and have some children. Max, you haven't told us yet why you've come down here. Well, um, I... We are hoping to intercept a ship that is trying to smuggle an albino gorilla. A white gorilla? Mark, did you hear that? Box, let's go. I'll show you to your room. You probably like a shower before dinner. Yeah, sure, fine. See you later, Mark. was a near thing. My God, how I hate the bloody ocean. Let's get off the stubborn and hammer to be bored on the pubs are closed. I want to feel the tatter farmer under the toes. Rumi, get below, there's a good fella. Oh, no, right? Just see if our cargo's come through. We can't have it sick. Oh. And Rumi, no knocking it about. Got it? Oh, what bloody luck. You bloody monkey's nose. Let me do this. Let me do that. Thank you. I'm 
sorry Mark didn't come down. Do you think that my uh, being here has upset him at all? I never heard him talk that much since we're back from... Does he ever talk about the boy? No, never. If I try to bring it up, he gets all frozen. If only I could. Listen, you have done more for him than anyone else. He's lucky to have you. No, never believe that. I'm the lucky one. I can never repay him. Do you know why he married me? Yeah. Because you're gorgeous. <sighs> well, you wouldn't have thought so if you'd seen me after that filthy scandal in Canada. I'd been in love with a member of parliament. And the papers made it sound like I was sleeping with everyone in the government. It was all political. But the rotten lies and sleazy article turned me into an outcast. Friends cut me. I lost my job and, oh my God, can you believe it? My dog ran away. <laughs> I made up my mind to kill myself the day Mark showed up. Now, listen, if you don't want to talk about this, we don't have... No, I want to. Mark had known me as a child. My father managed his minds. He arrived on the last day of my life. And that's it. He talked me out of it. Kid me out of it, really. So... Don't ever think I'm doing him a favor by hanging on. And I love him. I love him very much. Look, he's expecting me and I'm in a hurry. Would you wait a minute, please? Max! Max, the ship's already in. It got in last night. Now, it's at the Royal Naval Dockyard, I believe. Uh, uh, Val, this is love. Hello. How are you? Come on, let's go. Can't this wait till tomorrow no, morning? No, it can't. Look, you sit here if you want to. I'm going out there. Val, uh, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. Go ahead. I pity the poor gorilla. You go. Thank you. Talk about bad manners. I knew you were a pain, but that was about as rude as you can get. Now, how was I supposed to know you were going to be at Mark Azarian's house? I mean, he stands for just about everything you and I hate. Look, the man is my friend. Now, just leave it alone, all right? All right? Oh, don't get so excited. It's bad at your age. Oh, my God. Let's go, driver, please. Treat me. It's one of our traditions here on the island. I'll have to keep to it. Well, that's okay, fine, but let's just get going, please. Did you call the police? No. Were you sent to meet us on Baxter Mapes? Meet you, sir. We're here about an accident. An accident? Yes, sir. One of the seamen's had his neck broken. I'll take you to see the chief inspector. He's below. I don't know how this could have happened. He must have tried to secure the cargo, and the ship didn't caught him. Do you people have business here? Yes, sir. I am Baxter Mapes. This is Lil Tyler. I am a special agent for the U.S. Department of the Interior Wildlife Division. 
This ship was used to transport an animal on our endangered species list. And what does that have to do with this investigation? You see, sir, our government has been authorized to recover for the government of Zaire Erangi. A white gorilla? A white what? Sir, this man is, is a smuggler, a poacher. He illegally smuggled an albino gorilla from Brazzaville. Just a minute, miss. There's nothing like that listed on the um, manifest. A white... Gorilla, gorilla, Abe. In any case, the ship has been searched, and there was certainly no white gorilla on board. Two uh, sheep are listed. We were told that they were eaten on the voyage. You know, it really doesn't take much of a detective to be able to tell the difference between sheep manure and gorilla sheep. Well, I think we might straighten the matter out at the conclusion of this investigation. Please take these people back to the station house. Inspector, if we might uh, just... Please, sir, uh, would you and the lady follow me? Call for a coroner. We'll need a full medical report. Yes, sir. Range, you are a rotten piece of humanity. Herds slaughtered for their skins, elephants shot and killed, and their feet chopped off and used for waste baskets. A dozen cheetah cubs shipped in a box and they all suffocated. If there is anything that is mean and cruel that can be done to an animal, you've done it. I am gonna get you, filth. And when I do, I am gonna hang Excuse me, your... Mr. Mapes, would you and Miss Tyler please be so good as to follow the officer? Mr. Range, I'd appreciate it if you would remain in Bermuda until this matter is cleared up. Please don't leave the island. Wow, Bax, I've never seen you like that before. I mean, you were great. You really laid him out. If you would have only kept your big mouth shut. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's just, I wonder what happened to that. Wilkinson? Yes, sir. I'd like you and Smith to give the dockyard area a thorough look, see, check out the abandoned buildings and the tunnels. Right, sir. And what would we be looking for, sir? An ape. A large white ape. A white what, sir? Ape. Gorilla. It's been charged the animal was shipped on this vessel. It's certainly not aboard now. Yes, sir. We'll give it a proper go. Let's get after it, Johnny. We've got a bit of terrain to cover. I can just imagine what the missus will say when I tell her I spent the night looking for a big white monkey. <laughs> Those two coppers are gone. I think the coast is clear now. Good. What? What are you doing? Are you going on a safari? I'd head for the airport if I was you. I'm going after that bloody ape. What for? I'm going to kill it. Why? There's no profit in that. Well, if I can kill it, bury it, and there's no evidence. No corpus delecti. See? You sure is the ape you're after. That bleeding hot game warden took a real strip of hide off you, didn't he? To hell with him. Thanks, Captain. 
I'd better go up and check out the old house. Careful, that old wreck's about to fall in. I suppose I better go and check out the old tunnel. We want to uh, cooperate with you, Mr. Mapes, and your government. Then arrest Range. Hold him for questioning. But on what charge? The animal is not on board. We've made sure of that. Then it has to be here on this island. Yes, I've considered that possibility. Gorillas. Are they dangerous? I mean, they look really ferocious. No. In fact, it's probably scared to death. They're very timid and shy. It's true. probably even hiding somewhere. Well, thank you for your time. If you'll stop by in the morning, I'll give you a progress report. Collins, will you drive uh, Miss Tyler and Mr. Mapes back to their hotel? It's loose! It's loose! 
that the beast has been sighted at East Island Pond. monster turned her car over and only her screams prevented it from carrying off her child. What? You were sure you know, that this animal was harmless? It is harmless, Inspector. I, I mean, nothing like this has remotely ever happened as far as I know. There must be some other explanation. It appears that it has now and we've got to act very quickly before it does again. Wait a minute, Inspector. You said that the woman was uh, hysterical. She probably doesn't even know what she saw. Nevertheless, two people are dead, either directly or indirectly, because of this animal. Everybody on the island seems to know of it. These volunteers were here at dawn. People are afraid. Can you blame them? You can't blame us. That woman is a friend of mine. Somebody should protect What about them? our property? Yeah. Right. Max, I can't believe this. These people don't know what they're doing. I mean, it's like they're on some kind of primitive witch hunt or something. Let me try St. George again. Inspector, look, at least let us go along with you and help you try to find this ape. It won't be necessary. Oh, please, Inspector. Bax and I are the only two who have any idea about this animal at all. Please. All right. You may come in my car. to two units. Officers Smith and Collins will accompany you and spread out. We will come to this area and meet back here at four o'clock. Right.
I've lost you. Come in. What's wrong? I don't know. I've lost him. Hello, Collins. Red group leader to number one. There's something moving in the ravine. It's white. Say again. Repeat, incoming fire. What happened, man? Uh, two groups were firing at the same target, sir. But we got it. No. They're investigating now. I'm afraid I have some unfortunate news. Uh, we seem to have shot a cow, sir. What? A cow? A cow? <laughs> a cow? A cow? A cow? Do you believe it? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to walk back to the hotel. Mind if I join you? This is really something. Oh, yeah, it sure is. What do you think? to remember when you and I were living together. Rooming together. Rooming together, living together, it's just semantics. But you had a few other interests. Well, I remember when we were rooming together that you had more bad habits than good ones. Vita was right. Vita? Vita? Yes, Vita. Vita? Yes, Vita. She said you had an animal fixation and she was right. I once had a baboon named Vita. <laughs> I'll have you know that Vita Habermeyer just happens to be blonde, which you are. Beautiful, which maybe you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Very, very rich, which you certainly ain't. And crazy about me. Crazy. Let's just say crazy. Look 
at that. Honeymooners. so-called ivory ape. From all reports, yesterday's gorilla hunt was a disaster. Police groups and volunteers narrowly missed shooting one another Can I turn it off, and dear? succeeded in bagging a cow. When you call me dear like that, it makes me feel so old. I'm sorry, Mark, but I worry about you. You never did come to bed last night. I knew there was something I forgot. Well, I'm going for a swim before breakfast. When asked of plans for future action, police and government officials hinted to ZFB News at the possibility of bringing in outside help from the United States or perhaps Great Britain. you be going. What's the rush? I'd almost forgotten what a decent bed was like after that filthy bunk on the ship. I don't want Mark to find out you're here. Really? My brother thought he'd like me. He hired you because I asked him to. And that was the end of it. I want you to leave right now. Easy, easy. After all we've been through together. Do you seem to be forgetting our present business arrangement? That debt has been paid. I took you in because you were on the run and I felt sorry for you. You took me in last night because there was nothing else you could do. You know, I might just have a little chat with Mark about some other aspects of your Canadian affair. You wouldn't do that. Wouldn't I? Tell you what, after this little hunt's over, I'll pop back. Mark will be delighted to see me. We can talk over old kills. Then you must invite me back for, for a bit of a holiday. Just tuck me away in this cozy guest room and I'll, uh, I'll be at your beck and call. Well, let's hope the locals will stop shooting at anything that moves. See you. a week has passed and the question is how can a thousand pound seven foot gorilla vanish on an island that's barely 21 square miles what started as a joke has turned into a tragedy two people have died and the question remains where is it wait a minute inspector st george is coming out of the Ladies, gentlemen, 
It's true we've had some setbacks. This is a unique problem. However, an expert has agreed to lead the hunt, a man most qualified to track big game. Who is he, sir? His oh, name will be announced shortly. Mr. Mayor. You mean Mark Kazarian? Yes. It's not my idea. The governor believes that someone with Mr. Kazarian's name as a hunter will inspire confidence in the public. Inspector, he won't do it. He doesn't hunt anymore. I'd heard that. Mr. Mapes, as his friend, I wonder if you would help me convince him that he should do this for the island's welfare. All right. On one condition. And what is that? That when we find the gorilla, Miss Tyler and I be allowed to sedate it and take it alive. I can't guarantee that. Look, we all agree that the animal's behavior is odd. If it's shot to pieces, we're never gonna have the opportunity to find out what caused the aberration. All right. If it's possible, without the risk of anyone being hurt, you'll be given the chance. Val told us that we'd find you here. Inspector St. George and I would like to ask you for your help. Mr. Kazarian, I've just come from the governor. Sir Peter feels that if a man of your experience were to organize the hunt for this animal... Inspector, I don't hunt anymore. Two people are dead, sir. One of them a trained officer, another a seaman, and there was a child. Child? How old was the child? Two or three, I think. Marco was just three when I got full custody. He went everywhere with me. I, I raised him myself. I wanted to teach him to hunt, to understand the, the responsibility of taking an animal's life. <laughs> Any life. Val and I were just married, and we decided we'd go to Lake Rudolph in Kenya to hunt crocs. I remember, it was Marco's eighth birthday. The Black Lake, crocodiles 18 feet long, half a ton, man-eaters. We shot one the first week, and when we opened it up, inside we found a man's leg and a foot. A lot of things. The day of the accident, we were camped down near the shore, the only sign of life for miles. Range and the boys that had gone off scouting. At noon, we always took a siesta. Val and I in one tent, a boy, and a nanny in the other. All week long, Marco had asked to go swimming. Of course, it was absolutely forbidden. But he always wanted his own way, like, like me, I guess. He waited until the nanny was asleep, and then he slipped out of the tent. When I heard the first sounds, Crocs guttural rumbling a roar and then a scream Marco just once I knew what it was right away 
So I grabbed the rifle and ran down to the river. 30 feet from the shore, a croc was submerging with my son's body locked in its jaws, its teeth. For just one moment, he looked at me, his eyes, the pain. I raised the gun. I fired. Then you shot the crocodile. No. Oh. I shot. I shot the boy. thing I ever heard. He's been carrying it around with him for a year. I certainly understand why he refuses to hunt. He'll hunt now. You really think so? Yeah. As you know, Mr. Kazarian, Bermuda's gun laws are very strict. You have your permit? Hmm. And I'll return to you the bolt from your rifle. A license to kill, eh? I'm ready. going back into the world again. I wonder if we have unleashed a new set of demons. We'll find out, huh? Here comes the great white hunter. Yeah, have you seen all the trophies he's got? If I get near that ape, I'll be the one to get the trophy. Mr. Kazarian, the apes can spot near Lover's Lake. Did you hear that?
close up the line and move to the right. I tell you, it had to come down this way. Look, there's the spore. It must have doubled back. Bad chance. It would have had to come by me. I see. Sure there's there's no no way. Way. We've crisscrossed the entire area, sir. Not a sign of the ape. It's got to be down here somewhere, Inspector. There's a clear trail, and David caught a glimpse of it. That's right. It was headed down this lane. We're on a narrow spit of land here. It can't have slipped past us. All right. Now let's go back over every inch of... Listen. Do you suppose it's in the steeple? undertaken. I've agreed to allow these people to try and take the animal alive. What? Alive? No, come on, let's get going. It was my understanding that this is a dangerous animal and was to be shot before anyone else was killed or injured. I've given my word to Mr. Mapes. Let's give them, say, um, Three hours. Mark, you understand that... Three hours, then. These people are going to have three hours in which to take the animal. Three hours! You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's go.
do that. The way we do it at the zoo, with tranquilizers. You see, this way we have a chance of, of giving it the right dose per weight. Sounds like it would take a while. It could. It all depends upon whether or not the animal will accept the food right away. Do you want someone here to back you up with a gun? No. The fewer people up here, the better. Three hours. Well, you better go back home. Why don't you come back home with me, Mark? Let them do the rest. I'm gonna kill it. But... but why?
Alex. It's not another Rangi. Guess that the ape was female. Yes, but I should have known. The way it acted, I should have known. She was pregnant all the time. She must have nested here sometime last week and given birth. She's just trying to find a place to have her baby. So sad. I doubt if we'll see another Rangi for a long time. Maybe even never. It's just as well. I hope you do not think I ordered that shot fired. No, of course not, Inspector. to do with the infant I'm going to take it back where it belongs it's an endangered species inspector an endangered species and so is she hush little baby don't you
try.